Good afternoon. This is Craig once again with ICT. And in this video, we're going to go over um, our USB to serial adapter um, cable harness number WEL RGP45 that um, has uh, USB A on one side, RJ45 on the other, and a little converter box in the middle. Um, this will allow you to use newer computers such as laptops that do not have native uh, serial ports for use with your um, bell acceptors, um, test tools, and uh, printer ticket format tools. Um, this cable will not do is allow you to update your firmware. So for that, you'll need an actual uh, programmer, such as FP001, FP004, or our MTV. Uh, that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so I'll bring up my device manager on this computer here. And you can see that there's nothing in the ports um, this harness hasn't been installed in this computer yet, so more than likely, even um, under Windows 10, there's not going to be a driver uh, initially available for it. But as long as this computer that you're using does have internet uh, connectivity, um, it will automatically call out to uh, Microsoft and download the adequate driver for you. So we'll demonstrate that now. So it'll find USB serial controller D. And as you can see, there um, has a driver problem. Let me bring it I can show you here. There are drivers found. Um, if we just let this sit for a couple of minutes or so. Um, it'll automatically download the driver from Microsoft. Um, however, if you're impatient, you can say update driver, drag it off the screen, update driver, search automatically for drivers. And once you can see, it does download the prolific USB to serial COM port driver. So you can go ahead and close that. And you can close the other box that's up there that isn't showing on my screen. But once you close that, you'll see this main screen here with all your um, devices showing that this adapter has been assigned COM3. So taking that information, you can open up the printer test tool. I mentioned earlier there's no other COM ports on this computer. Um, your only option here is COM3. So at this point, you can take your RJ45 side and plug that into um, your, your printer. Um, be sure that if you are wanting to set your own ticket formats, that only switch number one is down or in the on position. Having switch number four down or in the on position is for use in serial games such as sweepstakes, uh, pot of gold, um, those kinds of um, um, environments. But um, if you are wanting to set your own formats for pulse, then number four is uh, needs to stay in the up position, allow you to uh, make your own formats. 
So that being said, uh, go ahead and plug in the RJ45 side as well as um, go ahead and power up your printer. When you first connect it, you'll see that it's asking you to update your time. Um, that you can just hit um, yes on, and uh, that'll get the time updated on your printer. Also, you want to delete all records. Um, usually when we do maintenance, you hit yes for this, and it'll clear all the uh, previous records out um, that are stored in there. It'll show a, a quick green loading bar that will disappear quickly and return you to this screen, which now you can actually start um, editing your ticket formats by going into the uh, layout tab. And the initial screen here, you're not going to see much to work with. Um, so we'll need to uh, download the formats from the printer which are the factory defaults that you can then use to edit as a template and make your own changes to those accordingly um, as you see fit. So that can be done by going to um, layout and then load printer. Which will show a few green loading bars which doesn't get picked up by my capture software, so my apologies. But once that completes, it will be um, returned to this your screen here and uh, have all the formats as they would be from our production. So you have your own tab for payout format, a tab for the note format, and a tab for the coin uh, format. So that being said, most people are going to be wanting to edit the payout uh, ticket format. This is usually how you um, cash out, uh, per se, on games. Um, so you would bring this to your um, redemption counter or your, your person who's collecting the tickets and doing the exchanges instead of doing a direct you know, cash dispense, which isn't that uh, safe. Um, so that being said here, um, say you wanted to make some changes here. Um, this isn't a payout ticket, this is for YouTube. As you make your changes in this box, this left hand side will automatically update um, as you make your changes. So the left hand side you can think of as a virtual ticket of how it's going to look once you complete everything. So say you like how this is, um, you want to go to um, save to printer and once again my capture software isn't going to pick it up but there's going to be a little side menu right here that shows all format, coin ticket format, note ticket format, payout ticket format, logo one, two, and three. So, so since the format, save to printer, payout ticket, so another bar. Um, then once that's finished, it'll return you back to this screen here. And then you can do a payout ticket test. Hide this screen really quick. And you can see as that, that printed out, it's the changes that we made in the tool. Um, it shows a zero here for data. Because if you do a test print in the tool, it's always going to show zero. Um, just keep that in mind. 
Um, and that's basically how you make your um, your ticket formats. If there's any other questions or concerns, uh, feel free to, to contact us, and we will certainly do our best to help you out and get you going. Thanks. You have a good day.